Hey, I'm Mr. James from Charm City Karate. This is Mr. Max. We're going to do Taming the Mace for you today. Uh, taming the Mace is for you have your back close to a wall and the bad guy's going to throw a punch. Um, if you try to do this technique with your back up against the wall, it's not going to work. Okay? You're going to need some room to step back towards the end of this technique, so you don't want to be right against the wall. Think about that when you go, I don't know, out, clubs, bars, parties at your friend's house, whatever, all right? It's cool to have a wall at your back, but not have the wall, like, at your back, you know what I mean? So you want to have some space, all right? I just look at all right, so when this punch comes in, what you're going to do is you're going to slide your foot forward and drop your height, because you want to get under this punch a little bit. You're going to parry it to the side, and you're going to bring your right hand down and chop into the bicep. This hurts a lot. Joe Palonzo hit me in the bicep once during a demo, and my arm, my bicep, was numb for the rest of the thing. The next punch I had to throw at him, I had to bring my arm like this and go, Ugh! okay? I couldn't fold my arm. I had to bring it up and throw it. It's terrible. Anyway, so it hurts a lot, and it makes the arm pretty functionless for a little while, okay? So you're going to parry this, chop into the bicep. Then you're going to throw a back knuckle into his temple. Hopefully, that's the end, and he falls down and he goes unconscious. But if not, that's okay. What you're going to do here is you're going to crane here and here. Then you're going to lock this down into your body. You're going to step straight back and turn your hips and slam him into the wall. Okay? Let's try that far one more time, and then we'll add the coup de Gracie. All right, so slide this forward and parry. Chop, back knuckle, lock, trap. You got to trap this against you so that you're going to have it for this next move. Step, turn, slam. Okay? Now, you're going to do an elbow to his head and a knee to his thigh or his stomach. All right? You can even throw it to his groin if you want. We haven't hit the groin yet. The thing about throwing this shot to the groin is uh, it's going to jeopardize your groin too. <laughs> kind of dicey. When I originally learned this, these went together and this was a roundhouse knee to his groin. You could throw this. I don't think it's going to have a lot of oomph. Uh, and like I said, your groin's kind of open when you throw it. I prefer to throw the elbow and then the knee to whatever target you're going to end up throwing it to. All right? Split them off. Make sure they're good shots. These are your last two hits, and then you're going to cover out. Take your time. Make sure he's not going to follow you. All right, so the punch comes in. You're going to do one, two, three. Four, five, six. Doesn't really matter the order. Knee, elbow, elbow, knee. You know? Here's another thing. When you do it with your partner, you notice I'm not throwing Max into the wall as hard as I can. When you do this to somebody you don't like, the back of their skull is going to whip into whatever it is you're bouncing them into. That's going to hurt a lot. It's like hitting the ground hard. If it's a really solid wall, like concrete block, it's probably going to knock them out, maybe worse. Be nice to your training partners. Unless you have a padded wall, slow them down a little bit like I do with Max and let them just kind of bounce into the wall a little. You throw them hard, they rip into the wall, it's not going to be good. All right? And then you can do your strikes to them. If you rip this guy in as hard as you can and then chase him in with the elbow, you do a lot of damage. Okay. So the punch comes in, you're going to do one, two, three, four, five, six. these nice big crash pads, you can practice the whipping into the wall against the crash pad. Okay? So what you do is, you get to this part of your technique, you lock the guy in, you step back and you whip! Ta-da! He doesn't get killed, you get to practice full speed turns, and you get to work out any of the, oh my, am I stepping right? How's my turn? I don't think I can get him. You get to find out. Okay? One thing I really don't recommend, a lot of people like to do a rear twist and like unwind out of it. If you do a rear twist here and the guy's really big, you might not be able to get him. And if he falls on you, done. If you step straight back and drop your butt, it doesn't really matter how big the guy is, unless he's expecting it. Like he's in class going, you can't do that to me, huh? 
If the guy doesn't know it's coming, you drop your butt and all your weight, he's coming forward, and then all you have to do is turn. He's going to pivot around you and go into the wall. If you don't have one of these, and you have something like a Wave Master, one of those big water-filled bags, you can try whipping them into that. We've used that before when we didn't have one of these. Right? You really do want to get to practice somehow. I think this is more comfortable, but Wave Masters work too. All right, so I'm Mr. James. This is Mr. Max. That was Standing the Mace. Practice. We'll see you in class.